If you're like most IBM iShops, you probably have hundreds of Query 400 reports that you want to make more visually appealing and easier for users to access without having to rewrite each query. In this demo, I'll show you how you can use Clover, part of the Business iBundle, to quickly transform an existing Query 400 report definition into a graphic, real-time web report that can be shared with all your users. I'm going to open up the Clover report wizard on my PC, and I'm just going to create a new report. So when you're working with Clover, you have the option of choosing the database you want to work with. We're going to select DB2. Then we have different themes or families. These are different colors, fonts, and logos. And each template is completely customizable. You can easily add your own logo at the top. And within each template family, you have different types of report templates, from standard reports, to drill down reports that go into the details, to spreadsheets, you can generate PDFs, and graphic charts. What we're going to take a look at now is creating a standard report that shows orders by customer. So to do that, I'm going to walk you through the wizard steps, which will guide us through this and automatically generate the report code. All we do here is put in my report name and description. Everything else is defaulted in. You can just ignore all that other stuff. On this page here, if we wanted to have prompts for filter fields such as a date range or pick a customer, you could do that by checking this and you would get an additional prompt for those fields. We're just going to skip that here. Now when you get to this point and you want to add a report, if you're talking about a business analyst, an IT user, or an end user creating these reports, you might approach it differently. If it's an end user and they don't really know what a database file is, they might want to hit cancel here, and they'd have two different starting points. They could import a query 400 query, or they can have somebody in IT predefine queries with Clover itself, and then they can use that as their starting point. In this case, we're going to import an existing query 400 definition. This loads a list of definitions by library. We'll select the order customers. And this pulls in all the statements in the query definition, including the files, the joins, and you can also add totals to all of the pre-selected fields from the query. In the next step, it pulls in all the filters, including statuses not equal to S, and the ascending and descending order of fields selected from the query definition. Once we're done with the wizard process, we have all the HTML needed for the web report. We'll hit the Generate button to compile it and upload it to our IBMI. And here's the final report. So within a few minutes, we've converted a Query 400 definition into a visually appealing, real-time web report. All the end user needs is a browser to access this. If you wanted the Query 400 definition output to be a chart, a spreadsheet, or a PDF, you can select one of those templates from the Clover Report Wizard instead. To learn more about Business Eye from Quadrant Software, contact us now.